This was no ordinary snake. This was a monster that dwarfed the giants we thought we knew. Forget Titanoboa, we're talking about something far more terrifying. Imagine a river 60 million years ago. A colossal shadow moves beneath the murky water. It's longer than a school bus, thicker than a tree trunk. This is Gigantophis. For decades, we believed Titanoboa was the undisputed king, the largest snake to have ever lived. But new fossil evidence from Egypt and Algeria tells a different story. Scientists unearthed massive vertebrae, vertebrae that belonged to a snake that could have reached a staggering 50 feet long. Its head was the size of a horse's. Its jaws could unhinge to swallow prey as large as an early elephant. Unlike Titanobo, which lived in the humid jungles of South America, Gigantophis stalked the rivers and swamps of North Africa. It wasn't just a constrictor. It was an ambush predator of nightmare proportions. It would lie in wait, completely submerged, its body a living, breathing trap. A creature of that size wouldn't just squeeze its prey. The initial strike alone, with a mouthful of backward curving teeth, would be devastating. Here's the terrifying part. We thought Totonoboa's reign was absolute. We were wrong. The fossil record is full of holes, and Gigantophis proves it. For all we know, an even bigger predator slithered in the shadows, a true serpent king whose remains we have yet to find. The earth has secrets buried deep, and Gigantophis was just one of them. What we've discovered might only be the beginning.